What's up internet? Welcome back once again. I am Manish from rebellionrider.com. Today in this video, we will learn how to create TNS service using Oracle Net Configuration Assistant. But before I start the tutorial, I just want to ask you to subscribe to the channel for more such database tutorials. Also, press the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video. And if you are watching this video on Facebook, then please like the Facebook page. That being said, let's start the tutorial. Firstly, what is this TNS entry? An Oracle database is represented to a client as a service. Let's say you have three pluggable databases created on your server. Each of those databases must have a corresponding service. You can say that a service name is a logical representation of a database. In order to connect with any of those pluggable databases, your client program needs a connector descriptor. A connector descriptor is comprised of information such as hostname and the port number where your pluggable database is installed and configured, the network protocol listener is listening on and the name of the corresponding service of the database client wants to connect with. This connector descriptor is called TNS entry. All the TNS entries are stored into tnsnames.ora file. You can read more about tnsnames.ora file in detail in the corresponding blog of this video. Link is in the description. Now let's move ahead and learn how to create a connector descriptor or TNS entry in tnsnames.ora file using Oracle Net Configuration Assistant, famously known as Oracle Net CA. To do that, we need a use case, and I guess I have a perfect one in my mind. I just installed Oracle 19C on my system. During that installation, I configured a default pluggable database with the name ORCL PDB. Let's create a TNS entry for this pluggable database. To create a connector descriptor in tnsnames.ora file for this pluggable database ORCL PDB, we first need to find out its corresponding service name. Let's quickly do that. Let me quickly zoom in a little bit. Great. Now let's connect to the Oracle database using sysuser. Let's quickly check. So the connection is finally established. Next, we need the container ID of our pluggable database ORCL PDB. For that, we will query the v$pdbs view. Let's run this select statement. Here we are. The container ID of our pluggable database ORCL PDB is 3. Let's use this information and find out the corresponding service. To get the name of the corresponding service of pluggable database ORCL PDB, we will query the v$active_services view. Let's do that. By the way, you can copy all these statements from the corresponding blog whose link is in the description. Now let's write the statement. Let's run it to see the service name. So the service name of our pluggable database ORCL PDB is also ORCL PDB. In most of the cases, both the pluggable databases and their services share the same name. But it's always the best practice to check it before making any changes in your database. Anyways, this is the process of finding out the service name of any pluggable database. Now that we have got that, next we will create a TNS entry into our tnsnames.ora file. So let's do it. Step 1. Launch the Oracle Net Configuration Assistant or NetCA. Oracle Net Configuration Assistant is a powerful tool which comes in bundle. Using this tool, you can configure the network components of your Oracle database. Let's launch this tool and see what we can do with it. Launching Oracle Net Configuration Assistant is very easy. First, launch your command prompt with administrative privileges or shell with sudo writes if you are working on Linux. Accept the UAC warning and move ahead. Let me adjust my command prompt a little bit. 
great so here is our command prompt next in this command prompt we have to write net ca which is a reserved command for launching the oracle net configuration assistant and here we go now let's learn how to modify the tns names.aura file and add a tns entry into it first let's minimize the command prompt mind here minimize it don't close it great also let's zoom in a little bit done screen one welcome on the first screen of the oracle net configuration assistant we need to select a configuration here we are presented with four options as we want to add an entry for our pluggable database into tns names.aura file thus we will select the third option which is local net service name configuration select it and press next screen 2 on the second screen of this wizard we need to select the action which we want to perform here we are provided with five options all these options are self-explanatory as we want to add a new tns entry thus we will select the first option which is add select it and press next screen 3 on the third screen of this wizard, we need to specify the name of the service for which we want to add a TNS entry. Here we will specify the name of the service which we found out earlier. So the service name for which we are adding this entry into our TNS names.aura file is ORCL PDB. Write it down here in the text field and press next to move ahead. In the next two steps, we will be configuring the protocol address. The address portion of the connect descriptor is called the protocol address. A protocol address contains the host name and the port number along with the network protocol. You can take help from the listener.aura file to find out all this information. Almost all the time, listener.aura and TNS names.aura files share the same protocol address. Here is my listener.aura file. You can find out your listener.aura on the location which is flashing on your screen. Before I move ahead, let me tell you, be very careful with this file and do not make changes until it's necessary. Okay, in this file, come to the entry whose name is listener. Here you will find out your desired information. According to this information, the protocol is TCP in my case. Host name is localhost. This could be different in your case. Anyways, the port number is 1521. Let's use this information to create a TNS entry for our pluggable database. First, let's close this listener.aura and come back to our Oracle Net Configuration Assistant. Here it is. Now we are sure that on this step we need to select a TCP protocol. Select it and press next to move ahead. Screen 5. In this step of net configuration, we need to specify the host name and the port number. And we know that in my case the host name is localhost. And the port number is 1521 which is the default port number for Oracle database. Thus, select the option which says use the standard port number of 1521. Once you are done with this setting, press next and jump on to the next step. Screen 6. Test the service. Though it is not necessary, but it's recommended. I mean we should not be overconfident, right? So it's better to test all our settings here rather than face errors during production. Let's test. Select the second option of yes perform a test and press next. Now press this change login button. Now in username write system. And in password field specify the password which you have configured during the installation of your oracle database. In my case, that password is Oracle. Now press OK. Oops, we got an error. We got this error because the pluggable database for which we are creating a TNS service is closed. We can solve this error simply by opening the pluggable database ORCL PDB. Let's do that.
Done. Now let's test the service once again. Here is the result. Test successful, which means we have done correct settings so far. Now press next and move to the next step. Step 7. Net service name. Here you have to specify a name for your TNS service. You can give whatever name you want, but specifying a meaningful name is always the best practice. Most of the time, we name our TNS entry on the name of our pluggable database or its corresponding service. This Oracle Net Configuration Assistant has done the same thing for you. It has specified the name of the TNS entry for you. The name is ORCLPDB, which is the same as the service name we specified earlier. I'm good with it. If you want, you can change it, but I don't want to. Thus, I will press next and move ahead. Screen 8. Now this configuration assistant is asking you whether you want to configure another net service or not. Here, select no and move ahead. Here, press next and then press finish. That's it. That's all you have to do. So that's how we create TNS entry using Oracle Net Configuration Assistant. I have tried to keep the tutorial as simple as possible. But if you still have any doubt or want to read more about TNS, then I suggest you check out the blog. Hope you enjoyed watching. If so, then please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you are watching this on Facebook, then please like the Facebook page. And if you are watching it on YouTube, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.